Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you fishes to a brand new dawn and a brand new day. My name's Tom um, and I'm steaming up. My name is Tom and I film random days in my life where currently I am working on a project of the house next door. And you may notice I am not at the house next door. I'm at B&Q. Where I have immediately come to collect some oil for my chainsaw. The chainsaw that I bought right here has got a 40 to 1 ratio of fuel to oil. What this bottle allows you to do is fill up to a certain line, as you can see there, with fuel and then using this two-stroke engine oil to top up from here to there to get the 40 to 1 mix you need to put into the chainsaw. So hopefully from this day forward, we'll never not be able to use the chainsaw. Ah, now hold on a gosh darn minute. Everyone in the comments below was saying, Tom, for your little secret garden you've got, why don't you put in some solar panelled lights along the path to make it look beautiful? And you know what? That's a pretty good idea, because don't forget, this project isn't just me, my ideas, my ideas, my ideas. I'm listening to you guys in the comments below to suggest things that we can try. So let's pick some solar panelled lights. And whilst I'm here at B&Q, I came to buy myself a new spade that I broke in, you know, the previous video that we will not talk about. But because I broke that spade, I need to replace it, hence why I'm here. But at the same time, I've created a brand new Instagram account called Syndicates Project, an account dedicated to the house next door to document the process and just to be able to look back in time going from where we started to where we're finally going to end up. So if you guys want to go follow it, go and follow it because we do giveaways over there. And you better know, the first giveaway we did was giving away a brand new spade. Yes, I know. Some YouTubers are out there giving away millions of dollars in Teslas and I'm giving away um, hand-signed spades. Uh, I will say it did come with a free Syndicate Original swag bundle as well. So shout out to this person who actually won the competition. Um, I know, sorry, it's not a car or a, 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 a private jet, but hey, it's a spade. And speaking of the new account, we did a vote on the Instagram as like a little poll thing to decide whether or not we're going to use these or these in the garden. And by popular demand, these got voted in. So I'm going to put these back and pick up these instead. Because like I said before, I want this to be a collaborative effort of what we do with the house. So yeah, there'll be a lot of Tom stupidity inspiration, but then I want to know what you guys think we should do with it. And whilst I'm here, I've picked up some tubs of this because I'm going to try and use this cool chalk wash paint to paint the fireplace next door. Lights, chemicals, action. Interrupt today's agenda of what we're doing for a mid-vlog food review in the middle of Manchester city centre, which for the record is absolutely fucking round. But what we're here today to try is Rita's rain and we're going to get a fusion box which I am excited to try. Because Big Tasty, Sam, said it's one of the best foods he's ever had. You can't make this up, but I've known this guy since I was a little kid, and his mum like, basically used to look after us when we were all younger, and it's his mum's fucking restaurant, I have no idea. So when I say they were like childhood friends, Rita, the, uh, their mum, was like the, the best woman in the world ever for us, and no joke, thinking about it now, her cooking when I was a kid, used to be absolutely incredible so let's see how it is oh oh yeah oh yeah oh spicy oh my gosh take a look at this that is a proper bit of jerk meat in a box love it i usually would never eat carrots in a meal oh my gosh do they pack some flavor. I feel like the takeaway review guy. You know what? I'm saying this right now. The takeaway review guy, who's an absolute legend, come to Manchester and try that food. I'm calling you out. I want to see you eat it and I want to see you review it. It is that good. All right. We're back. And time to crack on with some tasks. <laughs> Whoops. So I was um, unloading the Defender and accidentally knocked my paint over, um, which was bad. And then I turned around to try and catch it. And when I turned around, I knocked the other paint over. Um, and then that one rolled down and fell away. That was probably 70 quid worth of paint just gone. All right, whilst it's fresh and running, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try and wash it into the grid. But I've got a feeling this is just gonna make things so much worse. Oh my God. Oh, how oh, was this a good idea? 
<laughs> a good hose pipe later. I've literally just washed 76 pounds down that drain. That is the, the richest swimming worm I've ever seen. God damn. It is an absolute beautiful day. And this tree needs to come down. All morning, I've been watching videos on felling trees just to educate myself more and more and more and more. And honestly, it's just bloody so interesting. It just is. But in my last video, I decided to wear all the safety equipment, except on my feet, I was wearing uh, pretty much trainers, which is not good at all. It would have just chopped my toes into like little pig trotters. So because I don't have any steel toe cap boots yet, I've uh, brought out my motorbike boots. So if a chainsaw hits them, hopefully we stand a chance of surviving. Another thing that we need to do for this area real quick is clear out everything else all this bushery and shit like that we need to get rid of it i'm very tempted to quickly chop up that tree there drive the uh, little dig around into here and uproot these roots if i can just to give me a really secure footing simply because these are just like a trip hazard 101 and if this tree goes sideways and i haven't got an escape route i'd be screwed because for when you're cutting down a tree, you really need two escape points, both at 45 degree angles of where the tree is going to fall. So one would be like off in that direction and one would be off in this direction. This is looking like the best place for me to go if I'm going to cut this down because I might not bring it all down in one. I know, it seems like a bit of a waste of time and energy to not bring it down in one, but I was kind of tempted to see whether or not I should just take off that branch first, drop this side of the tree over there, but... It does look like a clear section where I can cut into the tree here like that and then at the back and it should fall that way. He says should. I've proved it with that tree that I know kind of like what I'm doing about angling it. But anything could go wrong. It could pop backwards. But the thing is with the height of this tree, it's got nothing really that it can fall on and cause damage to. So let's go get all our gear organised. Let's clear out this section. I think that kind of the little tree that you can see like there, I'll save that. So I'm not going to chop that down. But let's move everything else, move it out to the side. And then we've got a clear footing for where we're going to try and cut this tree down. All right, let's get our chainsaw ready and rock and rolling. I've checked my oil and we have oil. We are sorted with that. But with what we picked up from B&Q, being a two-stroke oil, a little tub, and the fact that I have a jerry can full of petrol to load up, we can tank up the chainsaw because it is completely bone dry from fuel at a 40 to 1 mix, and we can get chopping. Oh, this is I don't get me wrong, I know it's petrol, but that bloody stinks. Oh, it stinks that like piss. <laughs> but I'll tell you something, if your piss smells like this, I think you might need to see a doctor, I'm not going to lie. There we go. We have got our petrol mix in, sorted. We now need to put in our oil mix, like a so. Give it a mix. All right, there you go. So we now have our mix to pour into our chainsaw. Hey. Okay, don't spill it, don't spill it, don't spill it, don't spill it. There we go. All right, only spilt a tiny bit. And look at that, the amount of fuel we've got left over, plus the actual fuel we've got and the oil, but ready to go. Can go up on the shelf, ready for a later date. You should really put liquids like that up top. A safer place, it doesn't drip anywhere, it can just stay inside the Belfast sink. All right, got all my gear on, got my chainsaw, got my gloves. Time to clear out this bottom section. Okay, I've cleared this out. I'm feeling confident. I'm going to cut into here at this section down low, cut in at the back, and it should fall onto the wedge in that direction. Let's do this. Okay, I've actually gone for an assessment of the tree again now that I've cleared it out even more. Basically, this chainsaw is a small little chainsaw, right? That has not got the width to deal with this tree it just doesn't you could say it does but safely i just don't think it does for my experience so what i'm thinking of doing is cutting this off here so it gets a lot thinner and then going for this one because these two combined is just a bit too big for this chainsaw i think and then if we get rid of that and that then we can cut this off and get rid of the rest of it but yeah at, at this moment in time i'm not feeling 100 percent confident with cutting it all as one All 
right, so Houston, we have a problem. That tree branch, I was not expecting to come off. Luckily, like I was completely safe and all that sort of stuff, but wasn't expecting to come off. I heard it go, but I was looking at the entirety of the tree and I was like, this tree isn't, isn't moving. I saw the branch off the side going and look what's happened. If we look closely here whilst ready to escape that way, if anything goes wrong and we start hearing the tree yell timber, all right, where I was cutting out to wedge the tree, which is completely on an angle, so do not be judging my skills here. Like, again, there's no one to be hurt or anything to be damaged other than myself, but if we look at it, where I was cutting away, it looks like almost like a ball joint where it's just gone and just popped out of place. So it hasn't like cracked or snapped or anything like that. It's simply just disconnected from the rest of the tree where it's branched off and fallen that way. So luckily with the weight of it, it's gone in that direction, which is great. But now it's left us in a bit of a predicament that it looks like this isn't supporting anything to do with the rest of the weight of the tree. But... All the weight on this tree now lies on this side towards where I want to go. My first thought is to get rid of this tree here, make sure I've got a safe path if, I, if the tree starts coming down and I can, I can escape. But get rid of the tree because, again, it's not connected really to support that tree in any way, shape or form with an escape route. Get rid of it and then continue to chop from this side to try and get it to come back over this way because I'm worried it's going to fall that way. It's ah, the worst that can happen, eh? Bloody hell. <sighs> Out of 10. 10. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Look at that. You couldn't have planned that any more perfect. I didn't hit any of the little trees. You know, I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't going to, but it landed perfectly here. Look how much sky I've got now. Oh my God, I'm well happy. I cannot believe we got it down. More so, cannot believe my GoPro that I had recorded in the background yet again. Just stop recording. Just stop recording. Battery died. It was full battery, full memory card that could, that said it could film in 4K 60fps for like 45 minutes. It was going less than five and uh, yeah, it, it died. So that was absolutely wicked. <sighs> Fuck you, Jerry. But I am truly happy with a job well done. Now to just quickly address some comments, people have been like really upset being like, Tom, you are an idiot. You abs have absolutely no privacy between your house now and your neighbor, which you are right, I don't. But you see these trees, they create, create privacy. And I've said a million times over, even though I'm removing this entire back line of you know, trees and the big tree and stuff like that, I'm going to be replanting not only conifers, but putting in like a seven foot fence behind these as well. So thank you for your concern. <laughs> even though it was a bit aggressive. I am going to be making sure I have full privacy along the back, not just for me, but for my neighbors as well. So this tree line will basically go whoomph all the way to the very back corner. And whilst I was cracking on with that job, Gavin Lomax, again, big shout out because I had an electrician basically just like mess me around. I was like, you know what? I need a new one, rang Gavin. He was like, I'll bring my electrician up in 20 minutes. They came, checked it out, assessed it and came back and did the work to put me on like literally within 24 hours, perfect, a double, waterproof plug socket at the back so i can have access to power at the bottom of the garden so if i want to put speakers down here or anything like that i can do and i can have the ultimate garden party huzzah great success so i just missed a delivery of my um new gopro because you know this one that i've been using just keeps breaking and keeps breaking and keeps breaking well i thought you know what there's a why have you been drinking again um, I said to myself, I wonder if there actually is the new attachment for the GoPros anyway, where you can get the digital screen. So you've got your little GoPro, and then you've got a screen that usually goes on top of it. So when you're looking at the GoPro, rather than turning around to like see where you're filming, you can see yourself, like basically a flip screen thing. Anyway, it turns out when I went to look for it, the GoPro 9 is out. And it has a screen on the front. So I bought, I bought this little, little bundle package, what that comes with. Ooh! Ooh, GoPro, SD card, some mounts, a very, very good mount, which by the way, I cannot wait to use this because watch, all right, slip your GoPro to it and 
I can film from my hat. Chup, 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 chup. <laughs> but yeah, it comes with everything. This nice little flo floaty stick thing that I'm totally going to use all the time. Uh, spare battery, and it ended up being much cheaper than buying it uh, all separately. So yeah, we will hopefully now have a working GoPro and a brand new memory card. Let's just hope that this one doesn't stop working. <laughs> all right, listen. We have got 45 minutes to attempt to get to an archery store, get a bow, get the arrows, get the boss, which is the thing you, you fire at and put your target against, and get back and get some archery going in the garden. The problem is it takes 40 minutes to get there and in 45 minutes it closes. So it's fingers crossed, get there before it's too late. I can't believe I actually made it in time. Oh my god. Mate, this is absolutely insane. He was literally closing the gate as I got here. And I was like, mate, I want to buy a bow, arrows and a box. Phoenix Archery. Take a look at the selection of animals that you can buy to shoot at. Little monkeys, like just little beavers, all sorts. But look what you can buy. A bloody tortoise. <laughs> Oh my God. What an absolutely sound fella. He was literally locking the door as I rolled up on the minute to get here. And I was like, mate, I'm after a bow. Um, it's called the boss that you fire at, like the target. I'm after that. Um, I want two bows, two targets. You know, like in case I have a friend round or anything like that, we can both like shoot at the same time. Bunch of arrows, targets, and all the gear. Knew exactly what I needed. And he stayed open and sold it at me. And I got it all. What a man. I am home and I am excited. Now, I know your guys' immediate thought is thinking, I'm going to put my target over there like I have my dartboard and probably kill um, several sheep. No, 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 no. I am not stupid. I am not dangerous. I am doing this properly and I already love it. With the space that we have in the house next door now, I've got the ultimate place to set up and shoot from. I'm set up down there and I fire towards this. And if I miss, the chances are it's just going to go into the ground. I've already taken my first 12 shots and I got a bull from the get-go. Feeling pretty stoked about that. So I'm going to take some shots from down there, 12 shots, and I'm going to see what I can land. So are you ready for this? I can't believe on my first 12 shots, I actually ended up getting a bullseye. I think my targeting was pretty damn good, but let's see if uh, my first attempt recording these, I can get a bullseye. Oh, so close. Oh, let's go. Oh, so close. Oh, nowhere near. I let that one slip. Ah, oh, did the same thing. Oh, I mean, too high. Oh, too high? Way too high, or at least that way too high. Too high. Oh. Mate, this is so awesome. I hate doing things like, you know, sunbathing outside to get some sun on your skin or exercising at a gym because it's pointless. I'd rather do something in the sun that's fun and keeps you fit. Well, probably not the most fit in the world, but for strengthening your arms and strengthening your titties, it probably, I'd say it's pretty good actually. So first, first go, showcasing it to you guys. I'll take that. All right, now listen. You guys know I've been talking in this vlog about my new Instagram page, Syndicates Project. Well, bing, we are on 29,000 followers. And we gave away at 10,000 followers a spade. But we're going to step things up. If we hit 30k thousand followers, that makes no sense, we're going to be giving away something extra special. You see this tree that I have felled right here, right now. I am going to cut myself off a solid section from there to the base... And I am going to attempt to carve myself. I'm going to say a lion, but it's probably going to come out looking like a melted dog into the actual wood itself. It's probably going to go really wrong, but I'm going to carve it and give it away to one random lucky follower on the brand new Instagram page. So if you're not following it, click the link down in the description, go click follow or search for Syndicates Project on Instagram. Click that follow button. And if we hit 30,000 followers and we carve out the tree, maybe on a live stream on my Twitch or in the next vlog, I will pick someone to be crowned the owner of the stump, the lion stump. It's probably going to look really bad, but alas... That's just the random sort of stuff we do. Again, we don't give away Teslas and millions of dollars. I'm giving away um, logs. Yeah, wow, we've come so far on this channel. Now, it should be a given that not only will the person win, 
a carved log. Yeah, take that, you dirty bitch. Okay, we're going to give away a Syndicate original swag bundle with it. Like, the, obviously, team hat all day, every day. If you haven't got if you haven't got one of these yet, you, are you just not team hat? I'm just not getting on board with you. But alas, guys, I need to end this vlog. So if you're looking forward to a mad carving session in the next video, make sure you subscribe and ding dong the notification bells. That way you'll never miss a video when we go live. And more so, there's like 200,000 of you watching these vlogs every time we post it and i truly can't thank you enough for the support i've done like skydiving in dubai and the craziest stuff in the world and you know people enjoyed that but for some reason people are so invested in this project that we've taken on that i just love it we've gone from playing video games and building houses there to doing it in real life which is just insane so if you are enjoying them guys if you click that thumbs up button for the youtube algorithm it really helps out an absolute bunch and there's a spoiler alert I may be, may be attempting to build my very first Minecraft house in real life in this garden. So with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Sadios.